Welcome back. Let's check out the optional stages called Babel. Pick on the singles trials in this single player event. You and a friend can attempt the doubles trials. We've got two different ways of playing this, but I'll be focusing on single for now. So let's allow Trisha to explain what's going on again. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. The grand contest to determine the universe's greatest climber is about to start. <laughs> the event known as Babel. Good evening. Your guide for tonight's Babel is, once again, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Babel. <laughs> the giant tower built by mankind to reach into the heavens. Babel itself is split into four stages. The first stage, Altar. The second stage, Menir. The third stage, Obelisk. And the final stage, Axis Mundi. Every time you take on this challenge, the blocks change their positions. <clears throat> it all comes down to raw climbing instinct and skill. I'll level with you. It's incredibly challenging. If you take this on, you'd better be ready for it. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here to witness every record you break. Oh, there's one more thing I need to tell you. Babel is where only the best of the best can compete. And so each stage has certain <laughs> conditions to face. You can also attempt to challenge Babel with two people. It'd be interesting to see you cooperate with someone else to reach the top. But if either of you dies, it's game over. So be careful. Now then. Are you ready? We'll meet again, <laughs> if you can make it to the final stage. I'm sure I'll see you at the top one day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. is the altar. These stairs draw in the mysteries of the universe and are the first step on the path to the final area. These random walls make things all the harder. Go forth and use your expertise and intuition to forge a path. Let's go straight to the top. All right, let's do this. The unlock requirement for altar is one gold medal on normal or harder. So you could unlock this at the end of the first stage if you're playing on normal, if you if you practice a bit. But at that point, you're not ready. Stage one, the altar. Next up is Vincent Brooks, a 32-year-old engineer. How will he tackle the overwhelming challenge that is Babel? We are about to begin. Three, two, one, five. New record, new record, new record. Altar is about 150 to 160 steps tall. New record, new record. Trisha said that the blocks were uh, partly randomized. That's not entirely true. What happens is the blocks are fixed, but they're in patterns. And the next pattern the game sends you is random. New record. This means that patterns are not explicitly designed to fall nicely when they land on each other. Which can make for some very, very messy situations if you're not careful enough. The most important things to do in Babel is try and make landings you can use to give yourself some space. And and this is critically important, avoid messy collapses at all costs. If you make a mess 
of the stage, you are making things infinitely more difficult for yourself. Especially since, like hard mode, there's no undo function that you might have grown used to on normal, which is part of the reason why alter can be a big shock for those who are used to normal. New record, new record. Oh, by the way, you should probably get used to hearing the words new record constantly. I don't know what they were thinking. New record, new record. <laughs> new record. New record, new record. It's not actually a new record. I've been up 43 steps before. New record, new record. It just it does that every time. New record. The patterns have been picked randomly so far, but the game does sometimes give you a break by giving you something that's be fixed and familiar. From about steps 45 to 60, you'll get this pattern. It's fixed, it's the same every time. And it's just a nice breather to let you calm down a little bit and get the stage back in some sort of order if you've made a huge mess of it. New record. New record. Things really start getting more difficult from this point onwards. New record. New record. I would say that it probably took me about a week to be able to first finish Alter. New record. A lot of it is memorization of the various patterns the game will send to you. New record, new record, new record. Though you can't depend on memorization completely because the patterns are random. New record, new record, new record. You do eventually learn things that will be useful to remember. New record, new record. Altar is primarily composed of these large, wide walls. Just uh, try and find the way up that avoids the most cracked blocks. And it's not that bad. Having a bit of a think about it here. Ah, seem to be trying to make a landing here. Yep, gonna try and go up this right hand side by making a stack like that. New I love the presentation of Babel. This whole uh, New sort of reminds everybody I've shown it of, of that sort of total wipeout or whatever these, let's be honest, slightly crappy TV shows about about idiots trying to get their way across a pool and endlessly just falling in. I guess it can be fun. This is the climbing version. New record, new record. New record. New record. New record, new record, new record. Ninety is where it traditionally starts getting pretty tricky for me. Vast majority of the time when I was feeling this, it was somewhere between ninety and one hundred and ten. It's easy to cause undesirable collapses around here. The towers become a bit more narrow. There's a lot more cracked blocks, and many of them are coming pre-cracked, so you can only step on them once instead of the usual twice. Like that one. Still, the pattern... My tactic is still try and make these landings so you give yourself plenty of room to work. New record. And just progress that way. New record. New record. Gonna just drop the entire stage here. Dropping the entire stage is much more useful in Babel than it is in the regular game because there isn't so much of the mm, the stacks of unmovable blocks. They're used to support most levels in the regular game. That said, it's difficult to get a really high score with stacking because your, st your score is based on the number of actual levels that you climbed. So if you're dropping a level, that's one less point you can get in total. 
So, personally, I'm a bit of a pragmatist when it comes to this. So, if dropping it is the easiest way to do it, that's what I'll do. This is the other part where it all starts to get a bit much sometimes. Should just be able to eat Inazuma up here though. Oh wait, no. An even different way. Now we Inazuma. It may be tempting to try to go for the the little gap in the ledge when building stairs up, but it can be good to try and build for the actual top of the ledge. Manage to avoid that crack block and make a landing that way. New rest gone, 120 steps. New record. Not much forever to go. 120 steps up. Our goal is approximately 150 to 160. And just drop the level again because this will all fit quite nicely. Like that. Move around to the right hand side. Going to drop the stage again. Makes for a little bit of an easier climb here. New record. New record. New record. New record. New record. One hundred thirty steps. This part's a little bit tricky. We're going to need to shuffle things over. But as you can see, the stage is starting to fall quite rapidly. New the speed the blocks fall at depends on your level. I'm currently level 9. I'll soon be level 10. And there it goes. And you'll notice that the blocks stop falling so quickly as soon as I hit level 10. Spend too long at any, any one given level. And the block speed will increase dramatically. New record. So you do have to keep moving as quickly as possible. New record. New record. We've now reached the summit. New record. You can always tell it by this uh, vertical stack of unmovable, unmovable blocks. Unfortunately, I've not arrived with in the best of situations, so it's a little bit messy coming up here. However, this section of the level is pretty much usually usually a complete doddle. It's quite simple to just make some very easy stairs up this here. The crack blocks aren't even a threat. New record. And here is the exit. Here I go. He did it. Vincent Brooks just beat the altar. Wow, wasn't that thrilling? Hmm. Actually, that wasn't half bad. Not exactly a record-breaking attempt. But good enough. Unfortunately, I wasn't signed into Xbox Live, so I can't show you the leaderboards for altar. But you can see my previous scores here. My best score, 8 minutes 34. Thank you for watching. See you back in the thread.